But I'd like to bring out my first guest here, Miss Amy Murphy. Amy Murphy, Woo! you were on camera. There she is. <laughs> Amy, how are you? I'm so good. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. So I remember I like I like heard your story. I didn't fully grasp it. And um, and then when you came to my event, that's when you you actually told me like the full story. And and please, you know, correct me here. You told me that you had been in a bunch of different network marketing companies for like, I believe, 17 years, had never made more money than you had spent. Your your husband made you pinky swear that you would never do another opportunity. You find some of my training, and then you go on and you become a million dollar earner, you retire your husband, and now I don't know what you're up to. Is that roughly accurate? <laughs> You got it. You got it. It's <laughs> the amazing. last couple of years has been a whirlwind. I've been doing all kinds of things since yeah. then, but uh, I can definitely update you on all the things and I so, can definitely share the story yeah. of what got me to where I am today. And first, I just, I don't want to move forward. I just want to say that I just want to make sure, because I want to make sure it's accurate. Yeah. And now I want to make sure, okay, if you're on here tonight, and you've been at this thing for two years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 17 years, and you've never made more money than you spent, you too might become a million dollar earner because that's what Amy did. Like, think about this seriously. Like, I, I think about the, um, when I think about your story, I think about the wife of uh, James Dyson, right? So, so Dyson made 7,000 vacuum models that didn't work. Can you imagine being his wife? Right? Right. Just like, Dude, <laughs> get the stuff out of the garage already. You're not making any money. Like, like you, you got to be- swear you won't make another vacuum, please. No more, no more vacuums. No more <laughs> vacuums. <laughs> and so you just, you just, your story brings so much hope to so many people. How how many people are experiencing some hope, man? Like your story is serious. It's so good. It's so powerful, and and it brings so much hope to so many people. I just I just love sharing it. And so please, I, I've yeah. kind of stolen some of it from you. I, I probably should have verified. It's okay. Before. It's okay. Share, I, but, I, but go I ahead. Where where were you at? How did this go down? So first of all, I want to recognize my T-shirt, Faith. Yeah, I love it. That love uh, it. that is definitely a big factor in in what you know, all of this, you know, having strong faith and beliefs and all the things first and foremost, give it to God. Cause he does orchestrate lots of things. And, you know, even the, the things that are happening, you know, to you are for you, you know, all the struggles, even when you think it's the, the worst thing of life and you can't see through it, there's always something on the other side that you're like, ah, dang, thank you. Th okay. Thank you. I see it now. You'll see it. You'll see it down the road. And my story is exactly you know that. So actually I've been in network marketing for 27 years now. Okay. <laughs> uh, the first 17 years of my journey, I was in and out of at least 10 different companies. I would join a company, would spend more money than I was making, quit, join another one, spend money, nothing would happen, quit, join another one. I did that for 17 years. <laughs> Finally, my husband said, enough is enough. We are pregnant with our third child unexpectedly we couldn't really afford the house we were in we were trying to figure out how we were going to pay our bills and then he we came up with the strategy of how to save ourselves rich and the strategy was one of the strategies we had many strategies on how we were going to stay in the house and that we had overbought and overspent and we really shouldn't be in here at the time but you know we did it and we wanted to raise our kids here um so we were going to uh one of them was pinky swear I'm never going to do another network marketing company again, swore, gave my word. Okay. Cause he's like, please, you just, that will save us so much money. If you just stop doing them, <laughs> just please stop doing them. He begged me and I said, no problem. You got it. You got it. But I was looking for a product to solve a problem. I found this product and it was a network marketing product and I had a decision to make. What do I do? How do I buy this? Well, the best way to buy it to save my husband money was to become a distributor because it was the best discount. So of course I'm going to go for the distributor. I was saving him money because <laughs> I was going to buy products. Anyway, I had a problem, found the solution, needed it. So 
behind his back, I joined and I didn't tell him for about a month because it gave a little bit of time. I was planting seeds, oh, you know, about my problem and oh, problems, problems. And then when it came time to like tell him about what he was going to see on the visa, you know, I found a solution. You're going to see it on the card. I spent a little money. I did this thing, you know, and so I was trying to play it off that I just did a thing. And he went and he just went stone faced and he goes, I know what you're doing. And I was like, what? Like a, like a good discount. You never know what could happen. He was like, no, like hard stopped me. was like, no, he's like, you've done this so many times. Like, no, he's and this like, is seven. This is your 17, 17, like literally <laughs> 17 years of this. And he was like, no, you can't do this. Like for one, he gave me all these reasons. One, nobody's going to believe you. You know, you've sold everything under the sun. Who's going to believe you? You know, um, you can't like, you don't make any money. You're not going to succeed. Like literally he was bashing me. Bashing, <laughs> he's like, no, no, no. And the more he was doing that, he actually likes to take credit to this day because I have to admit the more he was telling me no. And then I couldn't, the more I was getting my backup, like, yes, I can. Like I was only buying it for the discount. Literally I was, I wanted the discount with the hopes in the back, 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 back of my head, maybe something could happen. Even if I sold enough just to even it out and I cost no money, I just make enough to, to buy the product. Right. That was in my head. But the more he was telling me, you can't do this. I was like, oh, pfft, yeah, I can. So I said to him, I said, well, you can't tell me what I talk to my friends about. If I decide to tell my friends about what I'm doing, like you can't control my conversations. And he, he was like, well, you have me there. So he kind of said, you do your thing, do what you're going to do. Leave me out of it. I want to hear nothing about it. He was really mad. And I said, fine. And I was literally on bed rest. I had to stop working. I had to lay in the couch in my bathrobe. And I just went balls to the wall, started texting everywhere and um, talking to everybody. Sorry, my, I just had to plug in my laptop. It's going to, the battery, I didn't realize I'm going to catch it in two seconds. One sec, one sec. Sorry, guys. Real life here. This is how we roll. Okay. Boom. <laughs> we're in. Okay. So <laughs> we're back in action. Um, so I was laying on my coach, just like talking to everybody, doing my thing. And a long story short, cause I know we only have 10 minutes. Um, but I ended up being the first person in all of Canada to hit the top of the comp plan. I was the first in my country. And then I was one of the first, I think the second to become a million dollar earner. And since then, uh, I've made over 5 million Canadian. Now I'm up to the 5 million. Um, it's been a good ride. Needless to say, my husband is now <laughs> he's on your board. biggest fan. He's he's a, Yes. He actually works the business with me now. Uh, they'll actually to update you, uh, the last, I guess, six months, um, or so it's been a, a, well, a couple of years now. I'd landed, I'm an actress by, by trade. Like since I was 19, I've, as long as oh, I've been wow. doing marketing, I've been, yeah, I've been acting. So my credits on IMDB under Amy Kerr, that's my maiden name. So wow. you'll see the TV shows and stuff from my maiden name. Um, but I, I landed a contract for two TV shows. And so I have been working on them the last couple of years. Cause I've been doing two seasons for two shows back to back to back to back to back. I'm actually going to camera tomorrow, the next day I'll be on camera for the new season four of another show that I'm doing. So Lots of, I've been doing, I've been wow. breathing back into, but the, here's the beautiful thing about network marketing. This is the beautiful thing is that I worked really, really hard. So I've been yeah. in my company tomorrow. Tomorrow is my anniversary. I've been in my company for nine years. Wow. And, um, I'm still number one in all of Canada. Whoa. I've, been num I've been number one since I hit it. I hit number one, probably seven years ago, six wow. years ago, and I'm still number one. Um, this whole time wow. <laughs> and I've never lost my rank, Mike, I'm top rank and I've never lost my rank ever. So, you know, it's been a, it's been a really good journey. And here's the thing about it is that you, you get, you build your business and you're allowed to, it's flex, it's like flexible income. You know, like my husband decided to jump in because I built the foundation so hard for so long. I built it. And then he's like, honey, live your, your dream is acting. You've been doing this your whole life. Like, don't let the contracts go. Like you need to go do nice. that. And I knew I couldn't lead my team effectively being on these yeah. shows. because It's 
some of them were really long hours back to back yeah. so a lot of work being on tv so he took over my team and he he's been doing an amazing job taking over i like to say our team now it started off as my baby but it's at we've joined forces and he oh, is doing amazing he's down there right now at our yearly convention he's there right now in orlando wow. right now <laughs> so he's so awesome. taking care of things yeah so we really decided to it's funny how he became the he was the non-believer and now he's actually working the business and taking care of it. So it's it's a beautiful a beautiful story of of what ha can happen. Um, it, and it's a true story, and it's it's a miraculous story because I never would have thought it would be me. I always looked at the people in the companies like that earn the cars, earn the trips, you know. And here I, I've done that, and it's like, is that really me? That happened to me because I only thought wow. it could only happen to everybody else. I didn't think that could happen to me. I'm a stay at home mom, you know. I used to do nails and audition, do my auditions, and like I you know it's just crazy wow. you got to have faith but i'll tell you one thing because i i know that, that like ray is faith faith-based and i'm i'm a christian myself and i remember in my journey i remember getting on my knees and i asked so much for like mm. how do i lead my team what do i need to do it wasn't for me i wasn't praying i knew I needed to help people and helping people. Obviously it helps me, but it was about my people, my team. Yeah. And I asked, what can I do? What do I need to do? And every day, Ray, when I first started network marketing, like not first started when I first started this company uh, nine years ago, my journey, because I really wanted to do it so much and I didn't know what to do. I, it was Ray's trainings that I would regurgitate and I would pretend it was my words. I'm like, I'm so smart. <laughs> Like I would literally take his trainings and pretend they were mine because I wanted to seem like I was a smart one, <laughs> but they're his trainings. Fine. So, but like he was the first one. And then when he asked me to be on stage, my heart was so full because mm. he was somebody that mentored me and he didn't even know it. And then when you brought me on stage that time, it was such a beautiful moment because that was the first time I ever spoke in front of a large audience. And so wow. in person, so it was such a beautiful full circle moment. So lots of full circle moments. Um, it's amazing. But a couple key words that I really like to share with people, if you really want to have Please. a takeaway, if you want a yeah. tangible or a takeaway would be just th write these words down. So decide because I made a decision that day because I was in 10 different companies. And I never really decided to do anything with any of them. I mean, I, mm. the only decision I made was signing up, but I didn't decide to mm. do anything nice. except this time <laughs> I decided that I was going to make it. I made my husband a promise. If I don't make it in this company, I'll never do it again. And that's when he said, fine, go do it. That was my decision. That it was that moment that changed everything it was when I made the decision Okay. So decide, but then something that comes with the decision is the commitment. You have to, to commit to that decision because it's really easy to give up. It's really easy to change your mind. It's hard walk away. But when you actually commit to your decision, it takes a lot, a lot of grit, a lot of resilience, right. To, to have that commitment because Committing is hard. People have commitment problems. <laughs> we see it every day. Relationships, you know, faith, all the things. People have trouble, you know, business. I had trouble committing <laughs> 17 years worth. <laughs> I didn't make decisions. And I didn't commit. But that's what changed this time. Because people mm. ask me, what changed for you? And I'm giving you my secrets. This is, God honest, <laughs> I can't give you anything more than this is what changed for me. I made a decision. That I was, what I was going to do. I committed to that decision and then followed with the success. The other three words were dream. Mm. I, for the first time in a company, I decided to dream. What would it be like if I got to the top? Nice. What would it be like if I, if I earned the car? What would it be like if I earned it? What would it be like if I returned my, retired my husband? What would it be like? I never dreamed like that in any of the other, any, any of the other companies I was in. I never dreamed. And then with dream is uh, this, the other word is believe. So not alone, let alone did I not only uh, dream, but I never believed I could do any of it, have any of it. Like I never had any belief that anything would happen. It would never, you know, there was no yeah. belief system that followed the dream. So mm. when you dream and you believe in your dreams, because this journey, when I started this 11th company, I dreamt so hard and I was so convicted of my dreams and I believed in them so hard that nobody could shake me. Mm. I was unshakable. 
right? My belief, unshakable belief. My belief was so unshakable and I was unstoppable because of it. So that is what's different as well. So different. Mm. And so, and that's when you will achieve. So these six words, decide, commit, succeed, dream, believe, achieve. Those are the six words that I like to say. That is my mantra, my personal mantra. I preach it. Like when, if you want to hear me share what happened for you, what changed for you, that is the formula Nice, right there. And yeah. And, and you, if you try it, if you try it, you make a decision today, be really clear, commit because it gets hard, but if you're committed, you're not going to give up. If you dream it and you're believing it, you're not going to give up. You stay the course because things go up. Business goes up and down and all your goal, you'll go up and down and in and out sideways, left, right, all the things it's all going to happen. But I'm telling you, 17 oh years, <laughs> 17 so years, I didn't give up. <laughs> so good. Amy, so, yeah. Amy, I mean, you can't, you can't see the comments, but Amy Murphy, everyone, I mean, seriously, if you don't, <laughs> if you ain't fired up after that, like, like check your pulse, like, you know, call the emergency room or something. I mean, that unbelievable. Thank you, Amy. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. I, and um, I would love to chat with you afterwards. Uh, privately. Yeah. I have so much that's going on right now. I'd love to yeah. share with you. so much divine intervention for sure god, god were, is working in mysterious uh, not yes. mysterious amazing ways and i just yes. want to share some stuff personally i'll share some voice notes with you if you like yes yes i wanted to i was I was like i totally want to there's and, more and coming also, there's more there's more to share with you but this i'm was sure for your for your people right now this is of where course. i'm at right now so yeah yeah and i uh and i totally get it because it's been a few years since we really connected and um you know i prayed about this, you know, top earner success school. And, and I got have guest speakers. I'm like, okay. Uh, and so Amy Murphy, I'm like, Amy Murphy, I haven't, man, I haven't talked to her in years. Okay. And so God wanted you on here. So I'm glad, I'm glad you said yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ray. And thank you to everybody. And I yes. wish you all the best. Don't give up on your dreams. Remember, decide, Amen. commit, succeed, dream, believe, and go achieve you guys. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we have another guest, believe it or not. Like, this is incredible. Uh, thank you, Amy. Amazing. Um, I do want to say two things um, about what Amy shared. Um, what's interesting is, and I, I, you know, I don't know the official count, but I had been in 10, 11, 12 companies, whatever. And I'd had, um, I, I don't know, to be honest, if I, I don't think that I'd spent more than I, made but i hadn't made much all right some of them i made absolutely nothing at some of them i made a few thousand a month i i worked up to that um but what's interesting about what she said is in in i really i never decided to the level i did in any of those companies like i did with the company i became the number one income of I just, I, I just, I, I was going to make it work. It was, this thing was going to work. I don't, I, I, they were like in, in the other ones, some of them, I had a little bit of decision, some, some more than others, but none of them had the level of commitment and decision I had with that one company. And then number two, she mentioned, um, I had never, uh, dreamed of, you know, the cars or this, well, that's, we talked about that last week, mental rehearsal. God has, has has taught me mental rehearsal, mentally rehearsing the things that you want to experience. He gave us that capacity, right? So, you know, Mark eleven twenty four says, when ye pray, pray as if you've already received. Well, how do you do that? Through your imagination, right? Through through mental rehearsal, through through being gratitude, or being grateful for the thing that you want as if you're as if you already have it. Uh, very powerful. And so uh, was that was that a treat or what? Was that a treat? I mean, that was a treat. That was, that was really, really good.